Hi, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore. Welcome to my video series where we tackle the tough personal finance questions asked by Australian expats. Today I'm going to cover the bank of mum and dad. Now lending within families has become common practice these days, particularly so when it's getting your children or grandchildren onto the property ladder with some assistance with their deposit. In fact, the bank of mum and dad is actually one of the largest lenders in Australia. Today I want to cover some of the common things that you might want to think about if you're either thinking about lending your children money or you've already done so. So let's dive right in. Now the first tip when it comes to lending your family money is to put it in writing. Now I'm talking everything. If this is a loan and genuinely not a gift, then it's important to document everything that's important to the loan to make sure that both parties are clear. So this is going to include how much you're lending them, what the term of the loan is, what the interest rate is if you're applying interest to the loan, and even what penalties will exist if repayments are not met. Now the last one may sound a little bit harsh, depending on how you feel about your family members, but it's important to be clear. It's documenting items like this that are going to prevent disputes in future. It's also important when you're getting things in writing in that you're safeguarding your family from any family breakups in future. Now by this I mean if you lend your child money and they and their partner happen to break up, if it's very clearly a loan that is to be repaid, then that will form part of their financial settlement. Now it's important when we're discussing things like this to seek proper advice from your advisor, accountant, or even solicitor if required. The second item to think about is how you're completing your tax return. If you've set up a loan to your family and you're charging interest, then you may in fact be eligible for the appropriate tax deductions that apply. So be sure to seek advice from your accountant or from your tax advisor and make sure that you're claiming all of your eligible tax deductions. The third item to consider is what happens if the loan doesn't get repaid. Now it's important to think these things through upfront because it's going to prevent disputes later on. Is it something that you're going to be able to write off? Will it have a negative impact on your overall financial situation? Is it going to impact pension or Centrelink benefits for you going forward? So again, it's important to seek the right advice, speak to your advisor and or accountant, and make sure you're prepared for what may happen down the track. I hope these three simple tips have been helpful. Again, if you are thinking about lending your family money, seek advice up front and prevent the disputes later on. If you have any questions at all about lending your family money, reclaiming loans or any other scenarios, or you have any questions that we haven't yet covered, fire them through, we'd love to hear from you and maybe we can even turn them into a future video. Thank you again for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.